Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our yearly 2022 Wheel of the Year Tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And the center card is going to be the theme of the year. Okay, so we'll take a center card. Okay, and then we have our January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, and let's see what we have for the year 2022. And the first card we have, wow, how beautiful is that? We have the Three of Cups. So there is going to be harmony this year for you, Libra. And believe you me, you deserve it. There may be a small celebration this year, a reason for you to feel like celebrating. Maybe this means you're going to be going out a lot more socially with your friends, um, you know, getting together, uh, celebrating life, celebrating all of the uh all of our accomplishments, even the smallest of accomplishments should be celebrated. I think every day of life should be celebrated uh, to be happy that we're uh, living and breathing and we're able to get up in the morning and get dressed and, and get some breakfast and, and go off to our jobs or take care of our families. This is a beautiful energy for the year 2022, that of celebrating and feeling harmonious, uh, balanced. And then for January, we have, oh my goodness, Libra, <laughs> this seems like it's really going to be your year. You have the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. So this card's telling you, be careful what you wish for this year because you just might get it. This may be something that you've already been wishing for for a long, long time. And it's telling me that your wishes are about to come true. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Now, it may not be in the month of January, but expect something this year to be fulfilled that you've been wanting. And then we have February. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So our patience is needed here. Um, you may have been putting in a lot of time and effort planting seeds, just like the person on this card. His crops are planted. He's waiting to harvest uh, the fruit of his labor. Uh, so something in February is going to require your patience because you will be rewarded for your efforts. And then we have March. And March is the King of Swords. Now, this may be someone you're dealing with in March, okay? This could be a military person, law enforcement, police officer. The King of Swords is a very cut and dry person. This may be the energy that you need to embody uh, in March. You may need to cut some people out of your life, cut some places and things that are no longer for your highest good. This is a king that does not allow his emotions to get in the way. So you may need to make a decision uh, based on the facts because this king is the kind of king that only wants the facts. He doesn't want anyone's tears, drama, or any kind of manipulation. He could see straight through the BS. So it's possible that you may need to uh, use your logical uh, decision-making on something to be cut out in March. Then we have April. And it looks like you are cutting something out. We have the Six of Swords, okay? That means you're moving on from a situation that has caused just too much stress and turmoil and chaos in your life. You're moving to calmer waters. So even though something in April may seem really out of your control, um, you're doing something about it. You're not sticking with it. You're not staying. You're in this boat and you're moving on uh, to find your harmony and balance again. And then we have May, okay, and how beautiful is that? This is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She is uh, the picture of stability. Uh, this person has worked hard. Uh, she's financially secure. She's very grounded. She has a very earthy energy. 
Um, so in May, you're feeling like the Queen of Pentacles. So you're already feeling your stability. That didn't take long at all. You left in April a situation that was chaotic and you're the picture of stability come May. And then in June, we have the Magician. And the Magician is telling you, what do you want to create in your life? If you could have anything you wanted, this magician is telling you you have all of the tools necessary, you have the ability, the know-how to manifest whatever you want in June. I mean, this is great. I mean, you're moving away from something in April, okay? You're being grounded and earthy in uh, May. <laughs> I'm kind of tongue-tied here. This is really taking me by surprise. These cards are great. And you're manifesting something, okay? And this in June could be anything you want to bring to life. And then in July, we have, oh wow, you are on fire. We have the Queen of Wands. And she's the person that gets things done. She goes after what she wants. She has this fiery energy. So in, in June, you have this magician, okay? You're going to manifest something. And you are on fire in July. This woman is beautiful. She's charismatic. She is powerful. She is claiming that throne. And this is how you're going to feel in July. You may even be collaborating maybe with someone like this uh, Queen of Wands. And I don't consider these cards gender specific. It could be a man. It could be a woman. Or this just could be the energy that's surrounding you in July. And it's a very fiery energy, a go-getter, entrepreneur type of energy. And then in August, we have someone from the past returning, okay? In August, um, this could be a childhood friend, okay? This could be a family member, maybe an estranged family member. Uh, this could be a past lover, a past partner. Um, you could be feeling maybe just melancholy and looking back to the past and feeling nostalgic. And then in September, we have the Ten of Pentacles. How perfect is that? So whatever you were manifesting, whatever you were going after with fire and passion, you are feeling very stable in September. The Pentacles are our health, our wealth, our finances, and this is the perfect card of stability when it comes to financial and material stability. Um, so you've established yourself. Whatever you left behind, was well worth leaving behind because look at, I mean, you've come a long way uh, since April when you got in that boat and you left a situation. Maybe it was a job, maybe it was a relationship because by the time September rolls around, you're going to be feeling very stable in your life. And then in October, we have the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is telling you to persevere. Do not get, do not get discouraged. Do not give up. Too many people give up right before they're about to have a breakthrough. This person looks like he's been through a battle. And believe me, we have all been there. And you may be feeling exhausted come October because believe me, you've made a lot of progress this year. But this is telling you to hang in there, persevere, you will have victory with whatever you are coming up against in October. And then in November, here we are again. Um, you're needing to stand your ground with the Seven of Wands, okay? Maybe someone is going against a decision that you made, and you have to stand in your truth, okay? This man here, it could be a man or a woman. Again, it's not gender specific. He's standing up here, and there's all these wands pointing at him. Someone may try to challenge you, okay? Somebody may try to discredit you, okay? But what you need to do is you need to stand your ground. And you may be exhausted from the previous month, okay? But this is a situation here where you have to defend your position. Do not back down from whatever this is. And then in December, we're ending the year with the two of wands. A lot of wands here. A lot of fiery, passionate energy. And the two of wands is telling you, in December, 
Um, you're putting effort into some other type of project, okay? And you're focusing on your future. Um, there's a possible maybe collaboration with someone or maybe you're negotiating with someone. Uh, whatever this is, you're focused on the future and you're going to put in the required amount of effort to succeed. Um, so this is a, a beautiful, beautiful energy to end the year on. You're moving in the right direction uh, of your goals and your ambitions. I'll tell you, this is going to be a very fruitful year for you. A, a year of manifestations if you want it. Perfect, perfect reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe because I will be back with more.